Hey everyone, Joe Williams here from Blue Dog Wire Strippers, and today I wanted to show you our BMC 20 winding cutting machine. Buy a Blue Dog Wire Stripping Machine, it will strip your wire clean. So, this is a scrap stator right here. We've already gone ahead and removed the casing from it with grinders. I filmed a video of us doing that. You can check it out in the links below. So anyway, if you want to remove the scrap copper windings from scrap electric motors, first you're going to remove the outside casing, then you're going to want to remove the windings on one end of the scrap stator. That's why the BMC20 winding cutting machine is useful, and we want to show you how this is actually done. So this particular scrap stator here is 146 pounds, and the diameter here is approximately 11 inches. What will be neat in this video is we'll actually weigh everything up so you'll know what your recovery will be. So, without further ado, let me put this on the machine and let's cut off the windings on one end. Buy a blue dog wire stripping machine, it will strip your wire clean. Take your copper to the scrap yard, make lots of money. So it's important to note, there's some curtain guards right here, you want to push the winding into place. Put the curtain guards down right around the edge of the scrap stator. You've got a cutting blade here which goes up and down and will start to, to proceed to utilize this blade. You do have to press down on the foot pedal over here. Let's check this out. So you have to keep rotating it. And cycle it to various parts on the scrap stator. There you go. You can see the blade is now going deeper. Just keep rotating until Looks like you got the windings completely cut off on the windings. Pretty loose. Let's pull it off with the Raymond. Watch your fingers when you do this. Might be uh, one of two pieces still stuck. The winding completely cut off of one side of that stator. It's really easy to do. So now, as I mentioned, this is a two-stage process. We're going to go to our BMC 20 winding pulling machine, and now we're going to pull out the windings from this scrap stator. Okay, so this is the second stage of the video. This is our BMC 20 winding puller machine. We've already gone ahead and processed our scrap stator by cutting the copper windings off the one end. Now we're going to pull out the copper windings using our BMC20 winding pulling machine. So let's check this out. What you want to do is lift the scrap stator onto the elevator. This is heavy, but I think I can handle it by hand. Let's check it out. So this is the elevator. You adjust it to the correct height in order to get the grip claw to pull out the copper windings. Pull back the curtain protectors and push the stator in until the curtain guards are right flush, like so. And then adjust it into place. Now everything's secure. So this has a grip claw on the front, and you need to adjust it closer to the stator in order to pull out the windings. 
the foot pedal here. This side needs to go towards the scrap stator. This side tracks it. Okay, so now we're going to try to pull out the windings. You want to start stop right before the stator and then push this lever forward and now retract. Then you want to rotate. the stator and now retract. out a lot of copper in one go. So you always have to rotate the stator to get the scrap windings in place. scrap windings that we pulled out of that stator and we're going to weigh it up and show you what the weight of the motor was with cast, the stator alone, and what your copper recovery is. Okay, so now we're going to pull off the stator, we're going to go weigh everything up. Okay, so we've gone ahead, we've pulled out all the windings from this scrap stator, and now the moment you've been waiting for, the scale is zeroed out, and we're going to weigh everything up and show you what our recovery and everything worked out to. So first, here's the box of scrap windings, 40 pounds right there. Now, don't forget the windings off the one end of the motor. 52, that was 12 pounds of copper right there. And now, the scrap stator without the windings. Hundred and forty six pounds. That's an eleven inch scrap stator. Approximately fifty two pounds of scrap copper to come out of that. 
Hey, so there's a lot of money to be made in scrap electric motors. You just need the right tools in order to do that. And Blue Dog Wire Stripper has the solutions for you. So one of the things I just want to note is that everything we filmed here was in real time. As you use the machine more, you will actually get faster and more precise with it. I've only had the chance to use the machine for a couple of days, but as you can see, it pulls out the copper windings really fast. So if you have any questions about extracting copper windings from scrap electric motors, give me a call. My name is Joe Williams from Blue Dog Wire Strippers. Visit our website, bluedogwirestripper.com, or give me a call, 866-901-2278. Don't scrap it, strip it.